Hello everyone, hope you guys doing well. I would like to share the experience that I bought this cheap SSD enclosure. It's rated for 10 GBPS M.2 NVMe USB 3.1 Gen 2 MK SSD enclosure. And I'm having some issues, so just would like to share why you shouldn't buy such a cheap SSD enclosure. It was $25 when I bought this SSD enclosure. I used the Samsung MZVLW2560256GB NVMe SSD that is rated for 2800 MB read speed and 1100 MB write speed. So let's check what actual read and write speed we are getting from this SSD enclosure. I am using the Crystal Disk Mark tool to test this SSD and we are getting about 40 MB per second read and write speed. Let's wait and see what's the final result we are getting on this SSD test. So we are getting around 42 megabytes per second for read and write speed on this SSD enclosure as an actual result but see how it does work for the actual file transfer and what result we are getting with that one. So you can see it's giving us the constant speed around 40 megabytes per second for writing and further we are checking the reading speed and that is constantly giving us the 40 megabytes per second for reading speed as well so which is good but it is not up to the mark where the SSD and the SSD enclosure is rated for 10 Gbps as well so it's, it's not actually I was expecting this result. Also, I connected this SSD enclosure to my Xbox and you can see it's connected and uh, I can see the SSD over there. But when I'm changing this to external SSD drive to store the Xbox videos, that is not supporting and it does come with the error that it is you require the USB 3.0 or above. So this is not recognizing even it's as a 3.0 or more than while it says it's USB 3.1 Gen 2 enclosure. And also it says too slow. So which is as I said like the result is still not up to the mark. But Xbox is not getting the read or write speed that is required for the gameplay recording. Also you can see that some people commented on this kind of SSD enclosure on other bargain that it writes someone's SSD and another person saying it's getting inactive or corrupted sort of things. So that's why I'm not recommending cheap SSD enclosure for your expensive SSDs. Better you buy the some quality items from the uh, marketplaces wherever you get it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's always recommended to look for the quality products. Even it's like you can get some SSD enclosure around 40, 50, 60 dollars in Australia for really good quality. And they are like 3.1 and Gen 2 SSD enclosures as well. And you can get the really good speed and we will see in the future I'll get the another SSD enclosure and see how it goes for the quality one actually that's, that's not too expensive so I'll keep you updated. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please share like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.